After the body had cured for a couple of hours, I could move on to the tedious task of placing all of the decals. All of these decals were placed using some micro-set and micro-sol. Firstly, I'm just placing the micro-set underneath the decals on top of the paint to act as a softening solution for the decals and also to act as an extra layer of glue to keep them in place. So I just put the decal setting solution onto the body and then place the decal on top, carefully positioning it and then removing all of the solution or at least most of it from underneath the decal once I'm happy with the position, just using a Q-tip or otherwise known as a cotton swab. With that, I just roll over the decal, removing and squeezing out all of the moisture and therefore sticking it in place. With all of the decals now in place and mostly formed to the shape of the body using the micro setting solution, some of the harder shapes that couldn't really conform with the setting solution needed some softening solution, otherwise known as Sol. This solution is placed on top of the decals. You can just let it sit and pull into the decal, help it conform and leave it for a couple of hours or speed up the process a little bit by using a heat gun or hair dryer to dry it up quicker and also help it form to the parts. That's all up to your personal preference and what you have done in the past. I like using the hair dryer, but it's also fine just letting it sit as that gives it a bit more time and just uh, decreases the risk of getting creases in your decals. With all of the decals now placed and conformed to shape, I use a hair dryer to speed up the drying process and can move on to the clear coat a lot quicker. 
Now it's not always the same, so mostly it's recommended to let it sit for a couple of days to fully let them dry out and have all the moisture from underneath evaporate and the decal stick permanently in place. Every clear coat reacts differently to all of the decals, so be aware of what you're using and don't just go out and use it if you're not sure. Just let it cure for a bit longer than you think it needs to. Now I've done this in the past a couple of times before and I am aware of uh, the reaction between the decals and this clear coat I'm using and in the method I'm using with the hairdryer I can just pretty quickly move on to the next step. Now again this doesn't necessarily mean you can do this as well if you're using a different clear coat, different methods, different drying times of course also apply to your situation. So after I had let it dry and heated it up with the hairdryer, I could move on to clear coating after a couple of hours. Just mixed up the clear and started laying down some couple of layers. So as usual the first coat has been laid down, 5 minutes of cure time have passed and I can move on to the second coat laying it down a bit thicker than the first and trying to finish it off getting a nice even glossy finish. After carefully looking over the final layers of clear, I was happy with the finish and decided to leave it at this. I set it aside for about two to three days before moving on to the next stage. 